a good evening and a warm welcome to csat made easy 2025 series where we will discuss the most exam specific questions and concepts for csat paper of your 25 year today's topic would be time and work in time and work we will discuss one of the types of uh, questions in, in in specifically in time and work uh, topic there are multiple types of questions we will concentrate on one type of concept in this class we will understand the concept as we go on solving the problems look at the first question if 10 men can do a piece of work in 12 days how many men are required to finish the same piece of work in 8 days okay this is a very easy question and for solving this question we will use a simple formula all the questions that we solve in this uh, video they will be based on the same formula and what is the formula it is very simple p1 d1 divided by w1 is equal to p2 d2 divided by w2 okay what is p d and w here p stands for number of persons d stands for number of days and w stands for work okay how do we uh, use this formula i will tell you you know in this question they have given you two cases in the first case 10 men are working for 12 days and in the second case some unknown number of uh, men are working for 8 days so in the, in the first case 12 days work is being happening and in second is 8 days work is being happening however both the work are same because they are telling the same piece of work okay in such situations we use this formula uh, P, uh, the the lhs left hand side of the equation applies to first case and the rhs p2 d2 w2 it applies to second case okay then what about w i will tell you okay in in the first case 10 men are there right so p1 will be how many persons are there 10 okay p1 is 10 and d1 number of days 12 days so it would be w so sorry uh, it would be 12 okay then what about w1 we will keep it as w work work no issue there okay and on the second hand side how many men are required we do not know p2 right how many men are required how many persons are required so we will take it as question mark into in how many days is the work being completed in 8 days so d2 is 8 and what about w2 it is the same work so we will just write w okay then what is the use of w you will get to know in future questions in this question we will just cancel w and w okay then what is the value of question then question mark would be 10 into w divided by 8 right yes and 4 divides both 8 and 12 4 2 are 4 3 0 then 2 divides 10 so 2 into 5 is 10 so the value of question mark would be 15 so if 10 men can do a piece of work in 12 days 15 men can do the same work in 8 days and your answer is 15 simple question and we understood the formula through this question now we look at second question if 10 men can do a piece of work in 9 days how many more men are required to finish twice the work in 6 days okay now uh, in this question there are two key things to be observed one is how many more it is not how many men it is how many more men and the other key thing is twice the work it is not same work it is twice the work <coughs> okay now we will use our formula what is our formula p1 d1 divided by w1 is equal to p2 d2 divided by w2 okay uh, what is in the first case what is the value of p that is p1 it is 10 men okay so p1 is 10 and how many days it is 9 days okay and what is w1 here it is only w okay and in the second case what is p2 we do not know we need to find it out so we'll take it as question mark okay what is d2 number of days is 6 in the second case so we'll take it as 6 what about w2 it is 2w it is not w here it is 2w because it is twice the work yes and now we will solve for question mark we'll cancel w and w okay and 2 divide 6 right yes so what will be the value of question mark it would be 10 into 
divided by 3 and 3 divides 9, 3 3s are 9, ok. So, question marks value would be 30. It means that if 10 men are required to do the work in 9 days, 30 men are required to do twice the work in 6 days. So, is our answer 30? No, 30 is not our answer. Why? Because they are asking us how many more men are required. We already had 10 men, right? We already have 10 men. So, if we want a 30 men total, the difference is 20. So, we need 20 more men. So, your answer is 20. So, we need 20 more men to finish twice the work in 6 days. Okay. We will look at next question now. If 6 men or 12 women can do a piece of work in 10 days, how many women are required to work alongside 24 men to finish 4 times the work in 6 days? Okay. Now, we arrived at an exam level question. Okay. We will read the question again. If 6 men or 12 women, it means that either 6 men or 12 women, they can do a piece of work in 10 days. Okay. And how many women are required to work alongside 24 men to finish 4 times the work in 6 days. Okay. And we will use our same formula to solve this one also. What is our formula? P1 D1 divided by W1 is equal to P2 D2 divided by W2. But what about men and women? We have uh, only persons here. Okay. What are we required to find here? See, we are required to find how many women, right? So, we will consider only women. What about men then? I will tell you later. We will consider only women here. In the first case, 12 women can do a piece of work in 10 days. Okay. So, we will take it as, we will take P1 as 12. And how many days are they working for? 10 days. And what is the value of W1? It is W, work. Okay. In the second case, how many women are required? We will take P2 as question mark. Okay. What about D2? Uh, we are asked to finish the work in 6 days, right? So, it would be 6. What about W2? It is 4 times the work. So, it would be 4 W. Okay. 4 W. Now, we will solve for question mark. W and W get cancelled and 2 divides both the 4 and 6. 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. Okay. We will solve for question mark. What will be the value of question mark? It will be 12 into 10 into 2 divided by 3. 3 divides 12, 3 4s are 12. So, it would be 80. It means that 80 women are required to finish 4 times the work in 6 days. But look at the question. They are telling us that how many women are required to work alongside 24 men. It means that 24 men are already working there and we need to join women with them. Okay. Now look at the first line of the question. 6 men or 12 women can do a piece of work. It means that 6 men can do a piece of work in uh, 10 days and 12 women also can do the same work in 10 days. So, we can infer that 6 men are equivalent to 12 women. Yes. So, 1 man is equivalent to 2 women. So, here 24 men, if 24 men are already there, they are equivalent to 48 women being there. Yes. So, it means that 48 women are already there. And how many women do we need totally? We need 80. So, how many more women do we need? Uh, we need for 80 minus 48 more women. What would that be? That would be 32. It means that if there are already 24 men, which is equivalent to being 48 women already working there, we need 32 more women to finish 4 times the work in 6 days. Okay. Now, you understood this uh, formula fully and this concept also fully. Now, we will go to the next question. If a certain number of men can complete a piece of work in 3x days, by what percentage should the number of men be increased to complete twice the work in 4x days? Okay. Now, uh, uh, now they are not telling us how many men are there. They are telling us certain number of men are there and they can complete a work in 3x days. Okay. They are also not telling us how many days. It is They are just giving us 3x days. By what percent Stage, should the number of men be increased to complete twice the work in 4x days? How do we solve this? Using the same formula. What is our formula? P1 D1 divided by W1 is equal to P2 D2 divided by W2. Okay. We will keep uh, the number, uh, the value of P1 as P1 itself. 
because we do not know how many men are there they are telling us only certain number so we will keep it we will keep p1 as p1 and what about d1 it is 3x base okay we will substitute it p1 into 3x divided by we will take w1 as w okay what about second case here we need to find p2 we do not know so we will keep it p2 as it is then how many days are we required to finish the work in in 4x days right okay divided by how much work twice the work so it would be 2w okay now x and x get cancelled w and w get cancelled and 2 divides 4 right okay now we have 3 p1 is equal to 2 p2 okay now we will express p2 in terms of p1 how do we do that p2 is equal to 3 by 2 p1 or 1.5 P1, okay. So it means that if P1, uh, P1 was the number of men required in the first case. Now 1.5 P1 number uh, men are required, okay. But what is the question? The the question is what by what percentage should the number of men be increased? Okay. This in this uh, concept they are asking us the percentage change, and we have discussed percentage change in our previous class. How do we do it? We have a formula for it. What is the formula? Percentage change is equal to increase or decrease increase or decrease divided by the original number okay in this case in this case what is the increase the increase is uh, p2 minus p1 right that is the increase p2 minus p1 and what is the original value it is p1 because originally we had p1 uh, number of men okay and what is the value of p2 it is 1.5 p1 okay so 1.5 p1 minus p1 divided by p1 okay what is 1.5 uh, minus 1 that would be 0 0.5 right so 0 0.5 p1 divided by p1 and we cancel p1 and p1 okay and we are left with 0 0.5 that is 1 by 2 and how do we convert 1 by 2 to percentage Okay, I will write it here. We have 1 by 2. How do we convert it to percentage? Just multiply it with 100%. It becomes 100 divided by 2%. What is 100 divided by 2? It is 50%. So, your answer is 50%. If a certain number were a certain number of men were uh, completing a piece of work in 3x days, the number of men should be increased by 50% to finish twice the work in 4x days okay now you have understood this formula and this concept completely it is time for your homework question look at your homework question a certain number of men can complete a piece of work in 6 days where k is a natural number by what percent should the number of men be increased so that the work can be completed in 5k days leave your answers in the comment section and I will repeat once again, if you like these classes, if you like this uh, series, watch our classes regularly. It, they will be uploaded every evening. Also, these classes, they are only starters. They are only testers. If you like these concepts and if you like these questions, join our regular batch for full course. Thank you. All the best.